I was born in Milwaukee, but for the majority of my life, I lived up in this area. I went to school in Rochelle, and just in general, um, the from my point of view, the gay um, the gay community was always sort of lacking. I didn't necessarily feel like there was a lot of support from a lot of places. I didn't even come out necessarily until my like second year in college, but. Um, and then I, I obviously moved away in California and where I was was a little bit more liberal and to come back and to feel as though I was going to be slightly oppressed, like to have to go back to like a place that I didn't necessarily feel like I could be myself or accepted. But then to see that there, I didn't even know there was a gay bar club in Wausau. Like I didn't know there was something that closely accessible. And then to figure out that that was there and then because that door opened to find out that there were... Um, prides happening all over the state or that there were other gay clubs in Wisconsin or gay bars in Wisconsin and I feel, I feel as though because drag led me into finding out that those existed it, my uh, the doors have opened if you will to find the, the different places where I can feel acceptance and stuff and not only like find it but then also kind of be like a front runner for it. There's so many different subcategories of why people dress up. Do they want to be a girl um, full time? Um, are we cross dressers? Are we drag queens? Are we, um, you know, transitioning? Me, I was afraid of what it meant as far as do I want to dress as a woman every day or is it more of an arts and performance factor? And that's something I've learned along the way. It is obviously more about the arts and the performance for me. I don't want to do it every day, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Um, but it's, a, it's almost like you're a, a, a rock star. You're a singer, um, you get your fans, and, and it, it just means to me I just like to perform, and it's a different aspect of being an actor, basically. In all reality, it's just, it's just entertainment. It really isn't anything deeper than that, and I feel as though um, drag has that stigma of being very like inclusive when it comes to the LGBT community, but drag itself actually started like, the, the art of a man dressing as woman started like way before that, um, even in European cultures, in churches actually, back before women were allowed to act, um, that was deemed unholy. So back in the, back in the day, uh, they would do Bible stories, if you will, of people uh, portraying different characters and even then men were dressing as women so I think like there, it, there doesn't need to be that stigma of like this is only LGBTQ plus inclusive. It fills my heart. Um, when I came out I lived here I was you know 21 when I started saying it out loud to str like strangers. Um, it wasn't socially acceptable yet so even 16 years later it's come so far. Um, seeing Let's just be honest, Central Wisconsin straight men at a show like there was on Saturday night, it tells me that we are, as a community, we are so diversified at this point that it's coming together. Not everyone's there, clearly, um, but every bit of growth helps out not just our community, but different races, um, different economic social statuses. I mean, it helps out everything. So. It fills my heart to see more customers like that at a, at a show. I always feel blessed because there's people that are watching you that are in the same shoes you were X amount of years ago. So if I can be a role model for somebody else that steps up and wants to do this or steps up to be more powerful in their own life in any way, that's why we continue to do what we do because that's huge. Empowerment is huge and just giving somebody a little bit of a, an edge to make them try harder, That's that's mind-blowing to me.